Okay guys, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I set up uh, my iPhone 14 Pro Max using the small rig cage and also the desktop tripod and a combination of using the iWatch to trigger and control the uh, phone um, camera features. So simply enough, starting out, first thing I do is I place the phone inside of the cage, just like so. And I seem to have already triggered the uh, camera app. So we're just gonna just pop this in like that. All right, so now you guys can see we have the camera mounted. I can just go through here and I can switch between modes. So I have video mode, obviously. You know, we have our cinematic mode, we have photo, all of those different modes, right? So it just depends on what you're gonna be using your phone to capture. Now, the way it's gonna work with your, with your watch, and this is one of the reasons why I think having an iWatch for a lot of content creators is going to be very beneficial. As you can see now, the uh, video source is mirrored on my phone, on my watch, and if I switch to video, now I can start and stop recording of videos. If I go back to photo, I can capture a photo just like that. If I go back to video, I can start recording. And right now the phone is actually recording. And then when I'm ready to stop the recording, I can just tap just like that and it's done. Now, when this would really come into play, if for instance, you're recording yourself or you're recording from like a top down view, like what you guys are seeing right here, where you can't see the back of the screen, and you want to be able to use the, you know, the, the better cameras on your phone, which are gonna be your back facing cameras, you'll be able to use your iWatch to control your phone and also view what's going on at the same time. So I think this is a very good combination. So if you're already in the Apple ecosystem, you have an iPhone and an iWatch, you're set. If you don't have an iWatch yet, you may wanna consider getting one because it will give you that additional creativity points. It's a built-in monitor and it'll be a, a, a remote control to be able to control and trigger your phone for recording. All right, guys, hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who has been thinking about creative ways of setting up their phone to be able to take photos and videos and didn't even think about using their iWatch as a remote. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video.